What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Saturday, April the 8th, 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, I missed the video yesterday. It was Friday. It was also Good Friday. So, you know, for me, I was not in a rush to get a video out yesterday, and it turned out to uh, not actually happen yesterday, and I'm okay with that. I know a few people were looking for a Friday video, and, um, well, I'm going to bring a Saturday AE video. All right, so before we get started talking about Novatech today, I want to remind all of you that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I'm cranking out that crypto in many different platforms, nothing more and nothing less. Now, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And please, sir, please, ma'am, don't get scammed by the WhatsApp man. If you get to, there's nothing I can do to help you. So make sure you stay diligent. That is not me. It never will be me. Never has been me. All right. So stay diligent. And, and ladies and gentlemen, thank you, everyone, for the support on voting for New Vision and Eric Bossman Graham in the G, uh, QMA Awards of voting that's in the description. For those of you that have voted, thank you. For those of you that have not, you still have time. You have till April the 15th, all right? And if you have already voted as well, you can vote as many times as you want. So if you feel compelled to vote 5, 10, 15, 20 times, go for it. If you got the time, uh, thank you so much in advance. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I want to talk about a few things that we've seen in the Novatech News official Telegram group. And we're going to go ahead and look at that now. Give me couple seconds here all righty and here we go so the first thing is an announcement that was brought to us we did the fourth um the sixth there was like a little bit of a meme thing worrying is a misuse of imagination which i agree i mean there's a lot of there was a lot of uh there's a lot of comments coming in that, and i did ask right and i said you know how many of y'all have gotten paid how many of y'all got your withdrawals for this week um, because I have not placed mine in, so I won't be getting one this week. But how many of you guys are? And uh, not a lot of you had responded and said that you did, right? So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised at that. But at the same time, I'm a patient person. I'm not a person that um, gets really hung up. And, and I want to mention something, right? Um, for those of you that feel the need to say in the comments section, you know, I, I always encourage people to communicate and say whether they've gotten withdrawals or not but you don't need to tell me how much money you've got locked up or held up or held hostage or all this stuff it doesn't matter how much money you have left in there or held hostage ladies and gentlemen what we have to understand about this space is whatever we decide to put in is what we have decided to put it in so we don't a hostage doesn't decide to be a hostage prisoner may decide to be a prisoner based on what kind of crime they commit and that they get caught but a hostage is not that all right this is money that is that that would be that would be if we were comparing this to a hostage situation that would be somebody saying i'm gonna i stole i took you know your whatever and now i have it that is not the case for not one person in novatech whether you want to still be here or not it is not the case that Novatech has stolen your money, taken your money. And if you feel that way, then you're confused, all right? You're confused about how the space works. You're confused about what Novatech is doing. They are not, they are not stealing people's money. We are willingly putting it in there. So for those of you that feel the need to say that hostage stuff, I mean, say what you want. Um, but definitely don't number drop. Don't number, nobody really cares how much money that you have locked in a, pl a platform or held hostage. Nobody really cares how much. All right. And nobody wants their money to feel like smaller money or insignificant money or anything like that. But one thing we have to always remember is we decided to put it there. So what are we going to trip about? It was our decision. We have to be accountable. So people are still learning that lesson, and that's fine. It's going to take people a little while to learn that lesson. Um, some people are going to continue to claim that they've been burnt and this, that, and the third. I, I don't understand it. This is a space we chose to be, okay? We chose to be here. Let's act like it. So part of me acting like it is staying informed. And this is the, an update from yesterday on the 7th of April. It says, Dear Member, in an earlier update, we advised that we would, be, we would not be charging the $25 service fee to our members for a period of 90 days. However, removing the service fee inadvertently caused some accounts who had not yet paid it for the month to not receive their ROI earnings today. 
We are aware of the issue and working to correct it immediately. We will update once a fix has been implemented, and thank you for your patience. So they get out ahead of one of the problems. So if any of you have experienced this in particular, they're ahead of it, all right? They're letting you know. It also says this was a note that was posted, I believe, um, not very long after that. It says, remember, you can always go into your back office and get many of your own questions answered. If you don't find the answer after taking time and going through everything, then you can ask someone. The link below I copied right from the back office, and this is a support link. So if any of you have questions, you can pretty much find it on the support link right here. Now, if you're in Novatech and you're watching this video, you need to be in this Novatech News official group. You can access this group by going to your back office and clicking on announcements. When you click on announcements, it will take you to a page that will bring you to this Telegram group. All right. So I just want to get that out there. Um, now, I have not checked to see if I've gotten my ROI just yet because I really wanted to uh, get on here and address the, uh, the news first. Of course, most of us that have been paying attention to Novatech understand that there have been some changes that will be implemented, all right? And these changes are deemed necessary by the company for Novatech to survive. I think what we want is Novatech to survive. So we have to move accordingly and, and uh, do what we're supposed to do. Now, they looks like, it looks like they are still working on the ROI issue because I have not received my ROI for yesterday. Now, I'm not tripping. I'm not. Because every problem that Novatech has ever had, they have been adamant on working on it, fixing it. Matter of fact, they were usually the first people to even know about the issue. Regardless of what many may think about their communication, different stuff like that that we know can improve and has been improving, we also know and Novatech has been very good at getting out in front of the issues the best that they can, addressing them, fixing them, and hoping to move forward. And yes, this is another hitch in the system, but there are going to be those. All right? There are just going to be those. So for some of us, you know, this is an easier thing to deal with than others. I understand. And this is just a lesson in the space for most of us. For some of us, it's a lesson of, a lesson of patience. For others, it's a lesson of um, understanding how the space works. Once you make a deposit, your crypto is at the, at the mercy of the platform. That's the bottom line. So if you haven't accepted that for yourself, that's one thing that you'll have to accept for yourself as well. All right? So it's very important that we all um, decide that um, Novatech is either going to be something that we're going to uh, be patient with and and uh, roll with the punches, or we're going to let it eat us up. We're going to let it uh, make us do irrational things and say irrational things and, and try to prove points that don't need to be proven. I'm not here to prove a point. What I'm here to do is just bring an update on what's going on uh, with me and what Novatech has put out as an update. All right? Um, everyone has to handle this space in their own way. Uh, I am going to be patient with Novatech. I am going to continue to be patient with Novatech um, because they, uh, through all the turmoil last year with all the different platforms that went away and, and couldn't sustain themselves, this one did. And it saved a lot of people. So um, I'm just here to bring uh, that news to everyone. Uh, it is something that they are looking at. A lot of people didn't get their ROIs. I am one of those people. And today is a Saturday, yay, right? So I'm expecting a whole nother um, payment. But, of course, I can't do a withdrawal until Monday anyway. So what's the point of me tripping? I can't do nothing until Monday anyway. I'm not going to sit here and trip. There's no need to do that. And for those of you that feel like me, more power to you. For those of you that don't feel like me and you want to trip, that's fine. You can trip if you want to. Uh, but tripping has never done anything for my health. <laughs> not physical, not mental, uh, not spiritual. Nothing. It's never done anything for me. It's only made me pissed off. So um, on this Saturday, I'm not going to be that way. I'm not going to be mad, and uh, I have no reason to be mad. I made the decision. And, and quite frankly, another reason why I don't want to talk numbers with y'all is because I'd say I probably have more in-staked 
more at stake in Novatech than about 80% of y'all that watch me. So I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying if I'm not tripping over what I have in there, then, you know, maybe it, it maybe it's maybe it's doing more good for me than it is to be tripping. I don't know. I can't speak on nobody else but myself. With that being said, this is Novatech. Uh, just wanted to bring this out. It's a Saturday. I haven't got my bonus pay yet. yet. I haven't got my ROI yet, but I'm not tripping. I know Novatech knows what's going on. I know they are getting ahead of the issue um, like they always do. And we're going to stay patient. That's just what we're going to do. Can't tell y'all what to do. Can't tell y'all how to do it. But that's what we'll do. Uh, with that being said, put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is indeed the Wild Wild West, y'all. And if you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. All right? Ask me how I know. It's not very fun. If you like this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. Please, sir, please, ma'am, don't get scammed by the WhatsApp man because if he gets you, there's nothing I can do to help you. I will not hit you up on WhatsApp. It's never been me, never will be me. All right, so be careful. Um, and also, thank you all for supporting New Vision and Eric Bossman Graham. We're trying to bring this award back to the DMV. If you haven't voted, the link is in the description. If you have, thank you so much. Feel free to vote as many times as you want. Um, it's very important to us, and uh, we're going to continue to talk about it. Voting stays open until April the 15th, all right? I will see you all on the next one. This is Novatech. Peace out.